Longview, Alberta is a long, long way from New Mexico. Yet just off Canada's Cowboy Trail is an unexpected art venue that celebrates the history and culture of the American Southwest. American Bob Kaywood and his Canadian bride, Happy Barlow, own this Southwestern themed space whose origins are as unique as this couple's courtship. He was living in the States, I was living up here, so we sort of rendezvous in Montana, which was great fun, I love Montana. And eventually he came up here, brought some horses up, we both loved horses, and then he stayed. When Bob came up to Canada, he had this wonderful collection of things, and we kept driving by here and seeing this big empty lot. So Bob and I said, gee, that's, that's a fabulous spot right on Main Street on the Cowboy Trail. So he said, well, if we bought it, what would we do with it? And I said, well, I think you'd have a gallery and museum. It's great now because we're in a place where people can come and appreciate what he has collected and these fabulous pieces that he has at the museum and share it with other people. The Lost American Art Gallery and Museum was founded in 2014. And with its curious moniker, most people go, huh? We had a joke about the fact that he was the lost American. I was just kind of wandering around. I, I wasn't anchored to anywhere. Everybody asks us, how did you get the name for your gallery? She said, well, a good name for it would be the lost American. We said, well, he was lost when he came up here, but he's found now. From its hand-hewn logs to the desert-colored facade, the lost American seeps with the spirit of the southwestern United States. The building is patterned after a Spanish colonial home, and so it's got the big timbers. We did a southwestern motif, and that's kind of what we've leaned to, except that the art that we have in our gallery is local artists and bronzes, sculptures, and it's mostly of the area, western, and a lot of landscapes and horses. The museum consists of a lot of artifacts. I have some really neat old Navajo blankets, and some of them will go back to about 1870, and they vary up to real modern. I have spurs and bits that were Spanish made by the conquistadores. I have pottery that are by some of the most famous potters. I have some old saddles that date about 1870, 1880, and old Angora goat chaps stuff that the early pioneers used. And I have a huge collection of Edward Curtis photographs and they're fantastic. We just have a different thing going on here in our gallery. We have had people walk in and they've said, I've been wanting to go to Arizona and New Mexico and whatnot. I feel like I've arrived when I walk through the door here. I feel like I'm there by coming into the gallery. So that's really what our goal is. I was born in the sand hills east of Roswell, New Mexico. What really got me started is the ranch that we lived on. The neighbors had these big sand dunes on their ranch. And every time the wind would blow, we could go on that ranch and pick up buckets full of arrowheads. I don't know what happened to them. Give them all away, I think. But that was the start of the first thing I ever collected. I grew up on a farm east of Calgary and very much a tomboy. I always wanted to have a horse. And I also was always interested in art. And my mother was always interested in art as well, and my dad. And I think that's where my interest came from. I was the Stampede Queen in 1974. And it was something I'd always dreamed of when I was a little girl. You're at the ambassador for the greatest outdoor show on earth. So it opens a lot of doors and you meet a lot of fabulous people and get to see a lot of interesting things. It was a wonderful experience. At the Lost American, it's easy to find your way to wonderful works of art that not only showcase a time gone by, but for Bob and Happy, a place where the love of art is always in style. It's art from their heart. I don't know how we really got off on this path because I'm not a young guy anymore, but I still got a lot of passion to do things and I haven't given up on life. So right now I'm enjoying the heck out of it. 
we sort of got to a stage where we kind of thought we were retired. <laughs> and then when we got this place going, it was like, oh my gosh, now we're really working. But everyone here has been really supportive. The town has been very helpful and the neighboring people here have really embraced what we're doing. So it's all good, it's all good. It's real rewarding to own this museum and to be able to share it with people. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.